An on-farm trial is a way of testing various products or ideas or I suppose methods or techniques. This type of trialling has probably been going for 100 years. What we've seen in the last 20 or so years, 20 to 30 years, is the uh, very strong growth of what we call grower groups. And they're basically farmer groups that want to identify local research needs and conduct that local research. So what we're evaluating at this trial site is the effect of soil acidity on, uh, on grain production. So we're looking at different, uh, measuring different uh, lime rates and looking at their, their responses to see how they affect uh, yield. We, we test different treatments or, or different products um, and we, we do it on farm so that we're replicating, I suppose, what would happen um, in a normal farming situation. Where each year you do a number of experiments and you find some results and they get usually published in a printed type report. Um, and then they go on the shelves. We produce a, a trial results booklet um, and um, you know, we've got trial results going back to maybe uh, mid-90s. And then a new group of people come in and think, oh, we need to do such and such research or such and such work. It's very easy to start to think that in the area that we work in, the high rainfall zone, that we're inventing a whole lot of stuff. Quite often that stuff might have been done somewhere else 10, 20 years ago. It might have been done in Western Australia, it might have been done in Queensland, that we just don't know about. Also, you know, there's, there's hard copies of trial results booklets, um, but you know, not everyone can access that information. And, and as, you, as your um, office fills up, nobody wants to um, keep them, but they're still very relevant. There's no way I would sit down and go through 150 page report books that are produced by each of these farming groups each year so you can imagine how many there are around the country, going through them to try and find projects that potentially might be of value to me. Online Farm Trials is a national repository for, uh, an online repository for grain research. Uh, uh, and it provides tools for uh, growers and researchers to um, access uh, grain research from all across the country. So what the Online Farm Trials project does is uh, draws out that information and puts it into a searchable online database um, so that comparisons can be made between uh, trials that are conducted at, by different research organisations so they can be trials compared over geographic space or over time, so from year to year. So rather than having to go through the trial books that has been published each year by each of these research organisations, we can use a series of filters to uh, get to information that's more relevant to what the, uh, what the user is trying to get to. So I can type in something as simply as uh, lime, and I want to see the lime, the response to lime for barley. Uh, and I can type that in and I can say the number of years. I want to see over the last 10 years what's been done and it will search and within seconds give me all of those trial results. And it will do that from anywhere in the country if that's what I select. If I only want to select high rainfall zone, it will pick up areas in southern Victoria, Tasmania, bits of South Australia, bits of Western Australia, bits of New South Wales that have got high rainfall. So it allows you to narrow down what you want to search. And very cleverly they've been able to pull in other information that mightn't have been directly collected with the trials, but uh, they can find. So things like rainfall. It's a way of um, really managing their information in a way that's discoverable and searchable and then allows people to access information for making practice change. And that's the critical thing with farm trials is, is that they're doing that research to make a difference on, on farm uh, and, and improve the sustainability and um, profitability of farming enterprises. Which is a really sort of valuable tool because you can sort of, I guess for any research projects, one of the things that you, you, the, that you first do is try and find out what trials have been done in your local area. I think for agriculture we've been doing a lot of work, spent hundreds of millions of dollars over the year doing research in various areas. This is a way of actually getting some real value out of that, that research. And in a lot of our trials, they've been largely paid for by the growers themselves because the growers pay a levy for every tonne of grain that they sell, for a kilogram of meat or wool that they sell. So they've already paid for a lot of this stuff and it'll be locked away, well not so much locked away, but not accessible because no one's going to go back and look at a book from 20 years ago and try and find it and read it. We don't have time for that. 
So to be able to unlock all that information is just, I just think, mind-blowing. And the more I see what these guys are able to do and the, the Surdy team can do and the clever ways they can do it, I just think we're, we're only just scratching the surface at the moment.